I'm gonna show you Hoffman's bromamide reaction or which is also called decarbonylation reaction. It has been consistently asked in board exams and competitive exams. It is very important reaction and today I'm gonna show you how it occurs. So when amide is treated with bromine and potassium hydroxide, the obtained product contains one carbon atom less than parent amine. Yes, this is the whole uh, concept of decarbonylation reaction. It is very important name reaction. So how it happens is when amine is treated with bromine and KOH, potassium, uh, potassium hydroxide, then the product which came, it contains one carbon atom less than parent amine. So let's write, first of all, amine. Amine, R, C, double bond, O, and NH2. It is called amine. As we treat with Br2 plus Br2 and KOH plus KOH. The results we get is one carbon atom less. Then it will, it will become RNH2. Because the whole concept is to uh, decrease one carbon, then, then what happens is plus K2, here K2, C, O, 3, K2, C, O, 3, then plus K, B, R plus H2O and to balance this whole reaction we have to put 2 KBr and plus 2 H2O the reaction becomes complete I'm repeating one more time what happens is amine react with bromine and KOH yes reactant in reactant side amine reacts with bromine and potassium hydroxide and the results we get is one carbon atom less in amine. So R and H2 and K2CO3 and KB, KBR plus 2 H2O water releases. And to balance this whole equation, we put 2 KBR, 2 H2O and here 4 KOH.